really the reason why I became a deputy was to try to do the best I can with all the skills I've gathered throughout my life and the different jobs I've done and actually bring that here to what I now call my home. Take a close look. What do you notice about Deputy Jacob Stearns? You wouldn't know he's missing from the knee down because he's not going to tell you because it's not about him. He's about being a cop and being the best cop he can be. He's driven. Stearns joined the Orange County Sheriff's Office in 2018, making him one of the newest deputies at the agency. Yeah, I've been in law enforcement for three decades. I've hired hundreds and hundreds of people. And it's the first time that I, I have come across someone who has applied uh, who's an amputee. I knew I could do it. Yeah, I knew there wouldn't be an issue with it. And the only problem was uh, proving other people I can do it. Stearns joined the Marines out of high school and was deployed to Afghanistan in 2010. Halfway through his deployment, on his 22nd birthday, Stearns and his unit were sent out on a patrol. About 200 yards from his base, it happened. Yeah, I stepped on an IED right there. The explosion ripped through Stearns' right leg. He spent the next 17 months in and out of the hospital undergoing more than a dozen surgeries. Laying in a hospital bed like almost nine years ago, I didn't think I'd be able to do anything, you know? I kept an upbeat spirit for everybody else, but mentally I would always think like, can I do anything physical again, you know? He started physical therapy and was fitted with a prosthetic limb. How does it feel? Like, you were on the left leg? Yeah. That was nice. He eventually returned to the workforce. So I did try a few office jobs. I just couldn't do it. Every time I tried to, I just felt like I was going away from who I was. He went to a recruiting event hosted by the Orange County Sheriff's Office, not knowing what the recruiters would think of his prosthetic limb. He raised his pant leg and said, is this going to be a problem? <laughs> um, and it was um, prosthetic leg. And I said, that should not be a problem at all. Stearns was accepted into the Law Enforcement Academy at Valencia College. It's a 19-week course where recruits learn how to be an officer. And what I like about this man, what I respect about this man, is he has a no excuses life. And he doesn't look for any special treatment. And there was like a lot of people faster than me, but I was able to keep up a good pace. He began impressing people while he was going through that initial training phase. He kept up with everybody else. He had the same drive of anybody else. He never really missed a beat with anything while he was going through training. But it wasn't easy. And yeah, I was in pain throughout the entire time, but I'm not gonna show it. Jacob Stearns is one of the most impressive people I've ever met. This is how it should be, not, not for an amputee. This is how it should be for everybody. After graduating from the academy, Stearns was officially sworn in as an Orange County deputy. Each time something like this happens, I get a piece of me back, I feel like. He was assigned to Sector 4, which is headquartered off John Young Parkway near the Orange County Jail. Yeah, it's been a long time since I would actually wake up and be excited to go to work. He's very passionate about what he does. He always goes that extra mile, and that's what I identify him as, as a hard worker. Stern starts his patrol shift at 3 in the afternoon, and for the next 11 hours, he responds to calls, from minor burglaries to more serious offenses. Yo, come on, man, do what you gotta do, as much as Stearns likes his new job, it does take a toll on his body. But by the time I get home, that's when the disabled side of me comes off. So like I take the leg off, I'm in a wheelchair on my crutches all the way until work the next day. But it's what makes me happy and that's what keeps me going every day to actually keep at it. I think the community is gonna welcome him with open arms. Yeah, I have no doubt he's gonna do a wonderful job and help keep us safe. <laughs> all right, gentlemen, take care, all right? Thank you. All right, you too.